MakerCloud template section walkthrough. Notice that this is supported by Remarkable Paper Pro, RM1 and RM2, and it runs on your Mac and Windows. Okay, so um, this gets started. So on the right here, this is the binder window. As it, once you launch it, this is what you'll see. Uh, first screen, you'll be presented with the connect screen. Notice the first field is 10, it has 10.11.99.1 in it. And if it's connected, you'll notice a green uh, orb here, okay? If it's gray, that means that it, your tablet is not connected by this IP address. But when you put that in, give it a moment to connect and eventually it will turn green if your tablet is connected, okay? So 10.11.99.1 is mapped to your USB uh, cable. Notice um, there's a graphic representing that. Um, and your device password, okay? Both of these items can be found on your Remarkable Paper Pro or any Remarkable tablet. On your Remarkable Paper Pro, you need to have developer mode turned on or your IP address and device password, password will not show. Now, your, your device password is not your passcode, okay? There's been confusion. Your device password is a, a separate password that's, that's found when you enable, enable developer mode, okay? So let's go ahead and connect. Once you connect, we go right into the templates section, okay? So you're presented with all of the templates currently on your tablet. You can sort um, by alphabetical, ascending or descending, or you can filter by category, okay? So, or, or even by portrait or landscape templates. Let's go back to the default, okay? And um, notice that all of my templates are present here. I have 79. And let's go ahead and add one. Okay, let's hit that. And then you'll be presented with this window. Okay, you can navigate to your uh, actual uh, template that you want to install and select it. And then click open and then it will install it. But let's do it the easy way by just dragging a um, template onto the, onto the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then right over the, the grid of all the, of all the templates, I just let go and voila, there's my new template that I'm installing. Notice that it, it, found, it automatically knew that it was a Remarkable Paper Pro uh, template because of the, the dimension of the template that I was installing. Um, so if I were to click here and I wanted to resize to these various um, different formats, I could do that, but let's just go ahead and stick it in, leave it in Paper Pro. Um, notice at the bottom here, you have these features here, lighten and darken. What this does is if I drag this over, it will, it will darken all of the, the gray areas in the template. So um, this is a good feature if you designed a template and it's not showing up correctly because the lines weren't dark enough, you could do that here or you can even lighten it. Now, uh, what's great about our app versus others, some applications out there, when you do the, the darken or the lighten, it will also lighten and darken the white area, and that's not a good look, but ours actually focuses on the, the gray areas, the lines, the, the areas here, so that your template always shows up correctly. You can also select the category here. I'm gonna put it in creative and lines, and you can rename it here. Now, when you rename your template, be sure that it supports your OS. You don't wanna put special characters in here. I usually just use either spaces or underscores for my name. Um, once you're ready, you can also expand it. You can expand it or you can go back and minimize it. Um, hit, go ahead and hit done. And then what it will do, it will save it to your tablet and voila, there it is. So if I click on there, I can see it again and then I can hover over it and I can see the, the size of, of the template. Let's close it. Um, I can also refresh this, so it will automatically reload um, all of the, the templates on my tablet. Up here is, is the indicator that says, okay, yes, you are connected all, um, to 10.11.99.1, okay? And um, also, you can also scroll down here and see all the other available ones um, on your tablet currently. Um, notice that it now is 80 because I installed this. Okay, we're gonna go back here. Let's actually delete one. So what you can do is delete uh, a template. Let's say I, I installed the wrong template. 
I select it and then I just hit delete and then it will delete it off the tablet. Okay, so I'm going to add it again here, release, hit done, and let's install it. And then I can do that here. You can also clear your selections. Um, so this is pretty much all of the functionality of the template section. Uh, we also have a way for you to restart. Whenever you install a template, you have to restart your tablet in order for it to appear. So um, in order to save your um, physical button on your tablet, we actually enable this in the app. So if you click this button, it will restart your, your tablet. Okay, so I'm going to click it. It's going to say, do you sure you want to do that? Yes. Okay, now my tablet over here is restarting. You can't see it, but it is in fact restarting. Give it a few moments um, once it comes back. Okay, now it's back and I'm going to hit reload just to show you it's back up. And there is my, my template again. Um, now, uh, what we built into this, um, if you have a remarkable tablet, you are frustrated about when you update your tablet's firmware, all of your templates that you installed before are gone. Now we have a section embedded in, in Binary Cloud where you can restore all of your previous templates with the press of a button. So if I click this, it will restore all of the templates that I've installed with this app um, prior to the firmware update. I'm not going to do that here. Um, also, um, you can. this is where it actually is stored on my computer. So we have a location, um, we, we store a backup on your computer of all the changes that you make here. So if you go here um, and, and follow the path here to your computer on your computer, you can find all of the templates that were installed. Okay. So um, down here, if you ever get stuck, we have a help section. If I click here, it's going to take a moment to load, but once it loads, you'll be presented with a accordion of all the various topics related to um, updating your templates, screens, notebooks, and other, other actual uh, tips here. Okay, so if I click this, you can expand to see it. It'll show you all of the dimensions that you need to have when defining templates. Um, and there we have it. Okay, this is, this is the template section. I'm going to walk through all the other sections of Binder Cloud so that you get a good idea of what features are, are in, the, in the new app. Um, always look down here um, and notice the um, version. Uh, when, what's cool about the new version of Binder is you no longer have to go to our website or search your email for the link to download the latest. Now, when there's a new version, you'll get a pop-up that says inside the app that prompts you if you want to install or not. So that's a good um, feature that we added in here um, with many other features. Um, so if we go back here, you can always log, log out and then get back to the first screen by clicking the logo. I'm going to walk you through all the sections, like I said, in, 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 in videos to follow. Thank you so much for using um, Binder. We really appreciate your, your, your support throughout the years. We are trying our best to make bring you the best features and enhance your Remarkable Tablet. We appreciate so, you so much. Now, if you're watching this video on YouTube, feel free to hit the subscribe button below. It really does help us. And we want to um, always keep you guys up to date with all of our new features. And if you ever get stuck, we have tons of videos out there on how to use our products. Thank you so much again and have a wonderful day.